and I'm back to show you all of the things we picked up at Entercon 2020. Um, we've got a few things, we didn't get loads because we've been really busy. Um, I'm going to get the boring stuff out of the way then we'll move on to the interesting stuff. Uh, there'll also be a rehouse video coming up very very soon so keep an eye out for that too. these two massive pieces of cork bark. Now we have two very large tarantulas. We've got Senza, who is our uh, Brachyphelma Hamori or um, Mexican Radney. Um, she's absolutely stunning, but we bought uh, some piece a piece for her, I don't know which one yet, and the other one for Flicker, who is our absolutely stunning LP. Uh, she's absolutely stunning and she is grown so big, I'm pretty sure she's a female. Um, I might be wrong. Um, I saw from the last malt that she looked like a female, so I'm not 100% sure though. Don't quote me. Uh, they were £3 each, so literally nothing, because um, cork bark can get really expensive. Uh, the next thing I got was um, um, more cork bark, which was in this bag, and it's just basically a few smaller pieces um, like this that we are using in different vivs, um, and also to use for hides for roaches and that kind of thing so that's the few bits we got there also picked up this little small one which I'll show you up a bit closer on this camera this is for one of the animals that we got which I will show you a bit later I also picked up this bag of sphagnum moss um, it was two pounds for the bag I've seen them cheaper um, at the shows and stuff but I didn't really see much substrate there or anything unfortunately uh, there was only really one stand that was sort of really um, like dedicated to that kind of thing the next thing I got was um, two of these little tubs I'll put, show you in this camera uh, with the little lid that has there goes brand new uh, a little opening like this so you can feed your tarantulas without them running out um, I really really like this design I've already set it up for one of our new inhabitants. Um, it's not. This is only temporary for the new inhabitant, um, as I want to put it um, in something a little bit taller. But I will show you afterwards. Um, but this will be fine for it for now because it's only small. Um, and I think that's it for all of the things uh, that we bought that were kind of boring and like you know. We picked up a tub of fruit flies. Um, and obviously these will be feeding some of the new pets that we have. So the first actual animal that we got, um, we got two uh, jumping spiders. Um, this one I'm not sure of the species because I didn't actually read one. But it is so teeny tiny. Uh, all you can see, genuinely all you can see is a little black spot. There's a couple of flies in there where they've shook some in for the show. But there's actually that spot there that is the jumping spider. Um, so because it's so tiny, um, we're just kind of leaving it in here for now. This jumping spider is slightly larger. Um, it's still quite small. Um, and this is a P. regus or regius. The next thing I got was these. Um, these are a Neo Holofeli Incy, but it's not the gold version. It's the other version. Um, there's five of these in here for twenty pounds. Um, and I'm going to be rehousing them in a video, uh, see how well it goes because I've got to get them out all individually, which could be fun. Um, <laughs> the next thing we got was some Queensland Titan stick insects. Um, I will show you these up a bit closer. Um, they are very small at the moment. I have no other stick insects at the minute apart from one, which is in my communal tank with my um, headlight roaches. Um, the next animal that I bought was some um, Cuban burrowing cockroaches. Um, I bought 10 for £8. And um, they also had some Madagascan hissing roaches. The final and probably um, my favourite and Terry's favourite pickup of the um, event of Enticon 
um, is probably this, which is a Dune Scorpion. It was £12. It was from the spider shop, so she was very kind to us. Um, we managed to get it for £10. It's already eaten. Um, it's, it's quite happy. At the minute it's a bit freaked out because obviously there's bright lights on it and they don't really like that. Uh, but I'll be rehousing this as well. Um, I said that that was the last one, but there is one more. But this isn't ours technically, it's Hunter's. He won it in the raffle. And it is the most beautiful, absolutely stunning, black ant. Um, I don't know how well you can see her in this camera. She has laid a couple of eggs. There's three eggs in here as far as I can see. Um, and I think she... Oh, yeah, she's placing one more egg. Because he won it in the raffle. It also came with a little outworld. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that was all the pickups from the show. Um, there will be a rehousing video coming very, very soon. There's also a video of where I did the unboxing um, of the uh, Creatures from the North box. And then also on top of that then there will be another video um, of me interviewing a very special person. And that will be coming up shortly. Subscribe and don't forget to keep watching because you'll see all those videos very, very soon. And I will talk to you later. Here is a video of last year's um, invert, Western Invert show. And don't forget to check this video out here, which is um, Entercon this year. And I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and speak to you all later. Bye.